2 l of t power n is equal to n factorial by s power n plus 1 this is like plus uh, transform we have a definition principle for uh, Laplace transform that is uh, l of f of t is equal to this is uh, defined by Laplace transform Integration zero to infinity of power p into e power minus s p into d t. If you have here f of p here comes f of p, but here I would like to take t power n in place of f of p. That means f of p is nothing but t power n. So l of p t power n is equals to is equals to integration zero to infinity. In place of this, I uh, will write t power n into e power o minus s t into t. So now this is in the form of U E method. By integration by parts, I will try to simplify this one to get n factorial by s power n plus one. Okay, step. So here I would like to take this is U and this is V to integration by parts. We know that integration by parts U V d x. Integration u v d x is equal to u into integration v d x minus integration u dash into integration v d x all x. So first we get as u. U is equal to p power n. Then u dash that means integration. Sorry, differentiate with respect to p we get u dash that is equal to u into p power n minus. Is it it or not? Otherwise, we will see once. U is equals to t power n d u by d t. That means differentiating with respect to t. Then d by d t of t power n. That is equals to n into t power n minus. This value is nothing but what you know? U dash. We are written U dash. The very next one. My v is e power minus s t. So v is equals to I would like to take e power o minus s t. Therefore, integration v d t because it is in terms of t, right? So integration e power minus s t into d t. This is equals to e power minus s t by yes. By power by e power a x d x is equals to e power a x by a. By this form, it's clear. Now, here should keep minus because here we have minus. Here plus a we get plus a. If you have here minus, here we get minus a. Is it clear or not? So simply you can write uh, e power integration e power minus s t d t is nothing but uh, e power minus s t by minus. Is it clear? Now I would like to place everything in the given now integration by parts. That means Take this one. So L of o, t power n is equal to integration zero to infinite t power n by definition of Laplace transform <clears throat> t power minus s t into d t. So I have everything. I would like to expand this one. U into that means p power n into integration e power minus s t into d t minus integration here zero to infinite you should write here also zero to infinite u dash u dash here we have it n into p power n minus one into integration e power minus s t into d is it clear? So now write it down. This value I already explained here. Integration zero to infinity power minus s. Minus s. Last. Yeah, this one I would like to simplify. Yeah. Here all we have to write to d. Okay. Here I would like to simplify and then I will place it here. Right. Okay. So now write down t power n into this is nothing but this right? E power minus s t by Minus s, but integrals are zero to infinity. This is keeping minus. This is n, right? I will keep aside. 
इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू एक पाइले p for n minus one into this is a you can write e for minus yes p by minus s into b right this is minus into minus here plus and I already explained this is zero because uh, here p in, in place of p we are getting infinite e for infinite is nothing but zero at the same time if you taking p value zero Zero into the p value is zero. Therefore, zero into something zero. Totally, the term is zero. So minus into minus plus. Then we get. Then we get minus into minus plus n into integration zero to infinite p for n minus one into p for minus s t into dt. But here we have minus s, right? Minus s. I would like to write minus minus into minus here. That's right. That's the reason you would like to take s. Yes. It's clear or not? Here minus into minus plus n by s I written t for n minus one as it is written and e for minus s t. Again, this is in the form of Laplace transformation. By Laplace transform, we get this is uh, equals to that means this is nothing but what l of t power n. Is equals to n by s into l of p power n minus one. Is it clear now? If you take here n minus one, here comes n minus one, right? So this is nothing but uh, p power n minus one. This is Laplace transform. It's clear now. So if you have n, here we get n, here we get n, right? If in place of y, in place of y, otherwise put y is equals to y minus. Then we get y of t power n minus one is equals to y minus one by y yes, into y of t power y minus one minus one. Is it it or not? In place of y, I take n t minus. This is nothing but what? N minus two. Is it plain term? Yes. So in place of this, can I write it on this one or not? Yes. Is it not? Similarly, you can write how many? Up to N, you can write it on. Can I write it on here? Okay. Yalla of t power n is equal to N by S yes into N minus one by S yes into n minus 2 by s yes, into a small swan we get no here 2 into 1 by s yes. then we get l log this is very very important l log t power n minus n this is very very important i got up to l log t power n minus 1 Is it clear? Yen into yen minus one into yen minus two. Now two plus one, two into one is nothing but yen factor. At the same time, how many yeses are there? Yen, yen yeses are there. Therefore, this is nothing but uh, yes power yen. Is it clear or not? Now I would like to simplify this one. Here I would like to simplify. So yen lah ho t power yen. Is equal to n by s yes into n minus one by s yes into n minus two by s yes into three into two into one by s. Yes. Here also s. Yes. Here also s. Yes. All are s of two n. And this is it. Or uh, into l of p power n minus n. So the total, this is nothing but this is nothing but n times or by s power of n. After that, this is a l of t power zero, right? n times or by s power n into 
L of 1. D power 0 is nothing but 1. Any D power 0 is 1 or not. But I have a formula L of K is equal to K by S. Is it it or not? So in place of K I am getting what? 1. Therefore this is equal to N factorial by S power N into in place of K we are getting 1 by S. This is nothing but N factorial by S power N plus 1. Therefore, L of T power N is always equal to N factorial by S power N plus 1. Is it clear? 